She's a killer, she's a realer, we're gorilla, she's a bad bitch Hey y'all, you already know the vibes, you already know the vibes, what's up T gang? So, that's just why I'm excited to call y'all, I'm gonna call y'all T, T squad Now we got T squad, yeah T squad, so what up T squad Okay, so y'all know I haven't been on YouTube in a minute But I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna talk about And you know, I've been doing other videos like storytelling shit, but this platform, my platform, the reason why I made YouTube is to encourage women and give them advice and give my opinion on different situations. But no, that's why I created the trend, my big e talk programs. What are we doing today? Is the topic? I mean, every time I come up here, I don't have different topics. I wrote down hella topics, so I got a topic for you today. Topic today, I wrote down, like I said, a few a few things, and the topic of the day is going to be reasons why you better off without friends. Now, I'm not saying that like saying like don't have no friends um i'm saying that like how you're you're better off without the negative basically that's what i mean so without further ado make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you ring that bell make sure you even comment below and make sure you go tell a friend tell a friend to subscribe to my channel and don't forget when i get to 400 subscribers there will be a giveaway so stay tuned and let's get into this video <laughs> number one on the list is five reasons on why you don't need friends period when your friend always want to party if you have a friend that always want to party, cut them off. Let me tell you something. I have one friend that always want to party. But, I mean, they work and shit like that. But I don't always want to go to parties. I go to parties, like, when I feel like, and I'll say, I'm going to stay at home, girl. I'm a homebody. Like, a real homebody. Like, I don't like to do shit but stay in the house or go to work. Do I got to do, you know, my entrepreneurship. Other than that, I like to stay in the house. If you have a friend that always like to go out, they, like, never want to do other shit, all I want to do, they're the type of friend like this, saying, friend, like, let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. Like, they never want to do nothing else but party. Let them go. They're toxic. First of all, you don't know what's going on at this party. This party can be doing anything. They can be shutting this party, anything can break out this party. And now, your friend is the problem. So, that's number one. Number two, if your friend is not supportive. Now, that means, let's say, like me, I have a business. Let's say you have a business, you have a platform, you have something that you love to do, and your friend doesn't support that, cut that hoe off. Cut that hoe off, cut the nigga off. Like it's in the day. I feel, if you a real friend, you should be able to support your friends. Like my YouTube shit, I'm be a real friend. You should be able to support your real friends in anything they do. Like if your friend come to you and they tell you like, listen, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna go to school for. Like this is what I have passion in. You should support your friend regardless. Like I have a YouTube channel. My friends, they watch my videos, so I mean that's supporting. They watch my videos, but I feel like you should be able to like you know share your friend shit. You know always um tell somebody else to go look at your like bless like my friend or she do this she do that like you know go look her up feel me that's supporting a friend like you should have a friend that always want to support you if you're doing something amazing and your friend is supporting you cut them off because at the end of the day let's say they're not supporting you but when you go get a bag and you get bigger then they gonna want to support you because you're doing something good for yourself like no you should have supported me when i was down now i'm up you know you want to support me no at the end of the day i feel like you should always have a good support system so if your friend does not support you cut them off all the way because like what friend wouldn't want to support their friend their real friend number three if your friend is always in drama or bringing negativity and this is a big one if your friend always in drama please cut them off because them bringing drama to your plate is going to cause your plate to overspill if you don't get what i'm saying if your friend always in something and they feel like okay let me i'm gonna say it like this for example let's say if i'm in some beef and my friend, of course, they're going to have my back. And, of course, they're going to want to get in the shit because they're my friend. They want to be a real friend. But at the end of the day, I'm putting them in a situation they don't have to be put in. I'm putting them in drama. They don't have to put, be put in. You feel me? Like, don't never bring your drama to your other friend's own play. That's just not okay. Deal with that shit on your own. Understand, a friend will be a friend. They can have your back. But, like, if you, like, always fighting and your friend always have to come out where you at to help you fight, like, just look back and be like, damn, like, do I really have to be doing this? Like, sometimes I had a friend that always was in fucking drama. Then I had to step back and realize, like, I always had drama in my life because of that person. I would never have beef with these people if it wasn't for this friend. So, at the end of the day, sometimes you gotta isolate yourself for certain people. It might be hard. It might be your best friend, whatever. But sometimes you gotta isolate yourself for certain people. If your friend is a negative person, they gotta go. Because you don't want a negative person, no negative vibes. Somebody's always having you in drama as a friend. You just don't. Like, you're supposed to have your peace in your own fucking little bubble. Period. If your friend, if your friend doesn't want to make money or be, be productive, and that's a big one. First of all, 
If you making money, you got a job, you and your husband, you don't got to do your friend not doing the same shit. That's not a good friend for you. Because, first of all, they're going to be getting you off track. Because while they're broke, they're going to be asking you for shit. You don't want a friend that's always asking you, asking you for shit. Like, first of all, that's not even a good trade. You want a friend. You want a friend that's on the same shit you on. Like, you want a friend that's on the same shit that you're on. If you buy the bag, your friend should be about the bag. If you want to go party, your friend should be about party. It's about what you want to do, like, the people that you want to have around you. But at the end of the day... If you don't want to make no money, you don't want to be productive, you're not trying to make something out yourself, why well, have that friend around you? I'm pretty sure you don't want to work in a cookout McDonald's or whatever for the rest of your life. You want to be something big, and that's the point of going to college. So if your friend is not on that same mindset of getting money and being productive, you have to leave them where they at in 2020 or 2019 or whatever. Because at the end of the day, money and being an entrepreneur and being productive and doing something better for yourself is the vibe. For 2020 and so on like we should want to we just need to be better like we need to be better for our friends we need to say you have a friend that's down you see your friend not doing well pick them up but you cannot help a person that does not want to be helped so if you do help that person make sure they want to be helped because you're not gonna keep trying to keep trying to keep trying with somebody they don't want to be helped now you just wasting your time and now they're wasting your time and then you know you're back to step one so let that friend go. They're not trying to be no money. They're not trying to be no hustle. They're not trying to be any shit. They're not trying to get a bed. They're not trying to feel me. Like my friends, my friends that I want. Like I want friends that's about money. I want friends that want to go on trips. I want friends that you know it's good to party, but not party all the time. Like I want to go on big trips. Like you know, go different places and shit, shit like that. You know, if your friend is not showing you the same loyalty that you're showing them, for example, nah, sometimes this is kind of hard. But for me, I feel like it's not. For example, um. If you don't fuck with somebody and your friend fuck on that person, I don't feel like I should be friends. Because in the day, it's a, it's a fact. You're not telling me it's not a fact that that person's not talking about you around your other friend. So either your friend will defend you or they're going to listen and sit back and not say shit or they're going to talk shit about you with that friend. So I don't, I don't like that. Like I feel like if your loyalty lies with that person, your loyalty should lie with that person. That's like, if you don't fuck with somebody, why the fuck would I fuck with them? It could be a hate in the Bible, but me sitting around with you, smoking with you, you know, catching up and shit. I'm not going to do that shit because my loyalty is not with that friend. My loyalty is with this one. Loyalty, I feel like that's real big to me. You know, I don't like cheating. I don't like no person that's not loyal. I don't like no person that's feel like they on some other shit. They no sneaky shit. I don't like none of that shit. Like, I'm real big on loyalty because every person that's come in my life, I have been loyal to them. I have been a big supporter. I feel like if your loyalty... I feel like you should sometimes you should test your somebody's loyalty, friend, mama, boyfriend, girlfriend. So I think you should test somebody's loyalty just to see where they at. Like you know, just see do they fuck with you, how you fuck with them, because loyalty is very big. And you don't want no friend that sucks shit behind your back and you not knowing, and you telling them shit and they telling the next person shit. Like, I feel like that's very grimy. I feel like I don't feel like. That's why I said it's real big on loyalty, because this is a big thing that females do. This is for females. This is a big thing that females do. You can tell a bitch all your secrets, cry to her, tell her everything, thinking she a real friend, but when y'all fall out, she gonna tell every single thing you done to her, and that is not a friend. Even if I fall out with a bitch, I'm not going to sit here and spill all the tea that I know about you, because at the end of the day, most likely, y'all probably going to be friends again. Now, if she come for you, then hey, spill the fucking tea. But if she don't come for you, you shouldn't be like, you know, oh, I knew this about you, or you told me this, and you told me that. Like, no. That girl told you that in privacy. She trusted you. It was supposed to be loyalty between y'all. And then you tell her business. I don't understand why bitches be doing that shit. That's why you got to find out who y'all are real friends. Because at the end of the day, I don't know. I had the same friends since I was little. Like, to this day, I have the same fucking five, five or six fucking friends. And a few more on the side, like, I really fuck with. And I know I can really trust them. I really, you know, I know they have my back with anything. But, like, without that being said, you know, that's five reasons on why you're better off without friends. If your friend's not real, and you don't know that for sure, if you have to, if you have to question your friend's loyalty, that's not your friend. If you don't trust that person, that's not your friend. If you know for a fact that person that's supporting you, that's not your friend. So, I hope this video can help y'all see clearly who is your real friends and who is not because if they are doing these things i mean if they are not doing these things they're not your friend and you need to cut them off if they're not supporting you they're not they're not trying to make money and they're not trying to bring negativity to your life don't be their friend and that's just the end of that okay and i got some more videos coming for y'all don't forget to stay tuned i'm going to be doing videos on top of videos on top of videos as much as i can i can promise you then 
So without that being said, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you ring that bell, make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you go tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, to your cat, to your dog, to your homies, to your gang, to everybody. Go support your girl and subscribe to my channel. Like I'm almost to 400 subscribers, but I want to be the 6, I want to be the 7, I want to be 8, I want to make it big. Like I'm trying to, this is what I'm trying to do, I love YouTube, I love doing YouTube. I just be trying to make time to do YouTube, but I am because, you know, I'm trying to make it big. I just, with y'all support. I can be the best YouTuber there is, okay? But I'm out. Gorilla, we're gorilla. She's a bad bitch. She's so nasty.